Hello and welcome back to Beckler Guitars and Repair. Uh, if you're new to the channel, this is uh, an all things guitar channel. I'm uh, Luthier, who uh, likes to do working guitars and buy and sell and upgrade and mod and all sorts of that kind of stuff. And uh, today we're looking at a 1998 Gibson SG Special. I just picked this up. Let's go through it. In the 90s, the Gibson SG Specials was released as part of the All-American series, which are kind of like stripped down, more budget versions of the same kind of guitars. Like on the standard, you would have the binding. Uh, you would also have the Mother of Pearl inlay on the headstock, different pickups, uh, a couple different things. So these ones were kind of designed to be more affordable, but... Comparing them to today's uh, SGs, they have some really, really nice specs. So in the 90s, this is a 98, this is considered to be the good wood era for Gibson, uh, the golden age or whatever Trogley calls it. Um, this was just when the build quality of Gibson was really high, they were using really nice woods, and uh, a lot of really good work was being done from Gibson USA. So what's cool about these specials is a couple of things. So this one has an ebony fingerboard. So ebony is not really used on Gibson USA guitars that often. Um, it's used on custom shop a lot of the time, but uh, it's a really nice wood and you don't really get to see it on, you know, USA Gibsons very often. Some of the 90s studios had ebony too. Those are getting a lot more sought after. Um, these SG Specials are still pretty affordable and uh, you can get them with an ebony board, which is quite nice. Another nice thing about these is they have a long neck tenon, which is another great uh, feature that's usually reserved for like custom shop models. And they have the historic ABR1 bridge, um, which is also reserved for higher end models usually. So this is the smaller posts and with thumb wheels and the, uh, you know, the wire that holds in the saddles. So that's kind of like a historic Gibson bridge. And this one has the 490R, 490T pickups, which uh, again, can be on some custom shop type models. And uh, yeah, this one is in really nice shape. I think the owner took really good care of it. There's a couple, if you look here in the headstock, it's got a little bit of checking. So that what happens, uh, the vertical checking like that kind of happens when there's, it's in a high moisture environment. But uh, that kind of just happens on 90 headstocks regardless. I don't see any other evidence of moisture checking on the body or anything, so. And then we've got our three-way pickup selector, volume, volume, tone, tone. Everything on this guitar is original. Again, really nice shape. Not a lot of scuffs, scratches, or dings anywhere. It's a little dirty, probably could be cleaned up a bit. If you look in the light, you can see that uh, someone must have had a sticker on here at one point, and it was removed. Um, the problem with that is, is that uh, sunlight, wherever you are, will react with the finish around the sticker. So when you remove the sticker, you're always going to have this ghost outline of where it used to be. Um, because the finish has reacted differently to the environment around the sticker and below the sticker. So you're always going to have that kind of witness line there for the sticker, which is fine. And then on the back, very good shape again. A couple little scuffs and dings. I think the worst of it is uh, right there, a little chip in the finish. I might go ahead and touch that up. I can just use some uh, India ink to darken that and then just a couple drops of uh, lacquer over top. Uh, it's not going to be perfect, but it's really going to, it's going to seal the wood and it's going to be very hard to notice. So I'll go ahead and do that later on. And 
There's our serial number, so the first number is 9, and the fifth number is an 8, so that tells us it's uh, a 1998. So we have a very light weight, it's uh, weighing in at 6 pounds, 13 ounces. Width of the nut is a 1.67, and at the 12th fret, a 2.04. And the neck depth at the first fret is a 0.83. And at the 12th, uh, 0.97. Here's our neck profile. So it's a pretty standard, nice C shape. Stays quite C-like all the way up to the 12th fret. And as far as chunkiness goes, I would say it's closer to like a 50s style. It's got a little bit more chunk to it um, than a 60s, like a slim taper. So uh, here's a quick look at our headstock. There's a little closer look at that kind of lifting lacquer finish checking thing going on. It's purely cosmetic. It's not actually bubbling or anything, but uh, yeah, this seems to happen on 90s Gibsons a lot. And here's a look at our truss rod. So yeah, no thread showing. Still got some original pack factory paint, so I doubt it's been used at all. And there's our nut. Looks like it's cut nicely. It's, uh, it's not bone, it looks like it's made of that Corian material. And here's a look at our ebony fingerboard. Nice and dark. And uh, I did run the frets through the fret buffer, so they're super nice and shiny. And uh, yeah, you can see them just glistening. But yeah, there was no issues with the frets, no pits or divots. And I checked them with a fret rocker and they're all nice and level. So I'm assuming we'll be able to get really nice low action on this guitar. And just another quick look at the body. Like I say, there's not much in terms of scratches or dings anywhere. A couple of light, like picking scratches. There's some scratching on the pick guard there. But uh, no big dings or donks anywhere. And then on the back side, we just have that one chip that I'm going to repair. And um, yeah, no other major areas. A couple little, you know, small things in the finish that you would expect from an older guitar like this. 1998, so yeah, that's almost 25 years old. One small kind of a finish ding in the neck. You can feel it but uh, it's not through to the wood and our vintage um, these are Gibson kind of green vintage tuners on here and here's a little chip after the repair so yeah just barely noticeable so yeah looks good all right so here's a look at our electronics and um, we can see that these are the Gibson USA branded pickups. So that's the 490R, 490T pickups. And we've got the wire braided cable. Here's a look at our routes. So we do have a, a long neck tenon, which is cool to see. And the routes are nice and clean. Oh, there's a little bit of uh, buffing compound, that red 90s buffing compound you see in a lot of 90s Gibsons. And here's our look at our ABR 1 bridge. And uh, this is the bridge that has that wire across the saddles here to lock them into place and with our skinny bridge posts and then those are just mounted on these little wheels here you need to take these off to take off the pick guard as well and here's our electronics everything looks really good unaltered uh, this is definitely factory wiring and we can see our brown disc capacitors and our pots. 
which are uh, CTS pots and our three-way switch so yeah nice clean route as well and everything looks as it should just getting some pickup readings here so on our bridge pickup it's reading a 7.89 and in our neck pickup it's reading a 7.68 and in the middle a 7.63 so we can see with the notched straight edge here that there is very little relief in the neck it's nice and straight and um, the action in the cowboy cord area at the nut here you can see that if I press down on the third fret it's just resting very nicely on that first fret so that means our nut is cut nicely and our action is set nice and low. That means the truss rod is set nice and straight. And uh, as long as there's no buzz, that's what you want. I've checked all the frets here and there's no, with a fret rocker, and there's no uneven frets. So this should be able to get nice low action with no issues. And then here at the 12th fret, let's see if we can get a good visual there. So yeah, the action at the 12th fret is between a 1.25 and a 1.5 at the low E. And then at the high E, let's see if we can see that there. Yeah, at the high E, we're looking closer to a 1. So yeah, nice low action. All right, I'm just going to do this fast forwarded, but if you want, you can change the uh, playback speed to 0.5 and you'll hear it in real time. Um, just to prove that there's no buzzing. All right, so yeah, it's uh, nice and low, no, no fretting out anywhere. There was maybe a, some slight hint at buzzing in a few spots, but you're not gonna hear that through an amplifier. So that's just how I like it. Um, there's no fret sprout on this guitar at all. So these guitars are Gibson's can have binding and sometimes with the unbound versions, you can get fret sprout just like any other guitar. But uh, this is not the case on this one. And the frets are super polished. So you can really bend effortlessly, super smooth and there's no grittiness at all. So yeah, it's a great feeling neck and uh, some really nice fret work on this one. All right, I'm plugged into the One True King rig. For the uninitiated, that's just a blatant ripoff of 60 cycle hums to Princeton rig. Um, I'm just using my Fender Deluxe Reverb, which is modified. You put a new speaker in there, a Celestian Creamback, and it has the bright mod clip on there. A couple other things. If you want to check out my reverb uh, modification videos, you can check them out in my playlist, and I'll put the link in the description. I'm also using this Carl's speaker soak attenuator and um, using an SM57 to mic up the amplifier. So let's go ahead and see how it sounds. These are the 490 R490T pickups. They're uh, Alnico 2 magnets. Um, they're a lot like a PAF. So this should be really good for like classic rock kind of a style. And uh, we'll play a little bit of that. All right, we're just gonna start with a little bit of finger picking in the bridge position. Thank you. 
just some strumming now. This is kind of bordering on breaking up. some single notes clean. These pickups really sound fantastic, clean. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on a little bit of overdrive so we can hear how they sound broken up. So in the bridge pickup. Final thoughts on the 98 SG Special. Amazing guitar. Neck feels great. Ebony fretboard. Super easy to play, super bendy. Nice low action. The pickups sound fantastic. 490R, 490T pickups from the 90s. Kind of a Elnico 2 classic rock PAF style. Just amazing clarity, good voice. Sound great broken up, great clean, great for classic rock. Uh, you could probably punch it up to a little bit of metal too, no problem. And uh, super light, 
under seven pounds and yeah great great guitar long neck tenon great specs good wood era what's not to like very nice guitar and uh, you can get these for you know pretty decent prices still until the market probably will go crazy on them when people realize how good they are which happens to a lot of Gibsons but anyway that's going to be it for today. Thanks for tuning in to Beckler Guitars and Repair, and we're going to have more for you really soon. Thanks a lot.